Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries I have for you another as seen on television product. A lot of you guys may have found my channel because of the Arctic Air review that I did last year. That was one of my most popular videos ever. I guess everybody was looking for like a little portable air conditioning unit. So this was a hot item last year, but it was a total fail for me because it leaked. So here's the 2019 model right here, Arctic Air Ultra. So right off the bat, I am noticing that the 2018 model of this thing, the box is a little bit taller. A lot of the wording stayed the same. You can obviously see that the models are completely different, almost like they've redesigned the entire thing. The Ultra 2019 model does say it gets twice as cold and it also says that it runs for 10 hours on a fill of water. The original one only ran for eight hours. Nothing crazy, but those are a few differences that I see. Here is the side view, almost identical. Same picture, different units. <laughs> this is what we call budget marketing. They're like budget studios, <laughs> like, like my studios, right? They just Photoshop the, I don't know if they did. I'm just assuming. You'll see there where it says that is twice as cold as the original ones. Here's the back of the box. This newer model looks bigger in the picture. Once again, they do mention twice as cold. You can see that the models are different, but other than that, I don't see anything else. The new Ultra one kind of reminds me of the Blue Breeze. You guys remember that one? When I see things like this, where it says stop, do not return to the store, it makes me laugh because I'm like, why? We don't want the stores to know that, uh, we don't like it. <laughs> we don't want the feedback directly to the stores, right? That's the first thing I think of. You get a power cord. Smaller unit. Let's, let's see. It looks smaller than this one. We'll pull this one out in a second. Oh, oh my God, they designed it to look like a miniature air conditioning unit. <laughs> No, I don't like it. It looks like a freaking air conditioning unit. It's not cute. Where is the LED on top? Wow, they have completely redesigned this thing. Now, something funny that I noticed in the new infomercial, this one has a button on top that has a digital kind of temperature gauge that you can set. Digital thermostat gives you precise control. The original one does not have that. In here is where you pour in your water. Here's what it looks like from the top. It has I guess your LED lights. I believe it comes with three speeds, just like the original did. In the back, you plug it in. In the front, you have your little vents. So they have a big blue sticker on the side. Number one, soak the filter. Oh, so they want, okay, that's different. They want me to soak the filter in the water first, then I should still pour it in here. Oh, is that what's giving me the extra two hours? the pre-soak. We recommend regular cleaning of your filter. Yeah, because a lot of people were complaining about mold, supposedly, I think. I heard through the grapevine. I don't know if that's factual, but a lot of people in my comments were saying mold. Yuck, hills to the no. You can purchase additional filters, but it looks like the filter, you might be able to put it in the dishwasher. So here they are, side by side. This one, is tiny. How are you two times as powerful or you're going to give me two times the coldness if you're smaller than this little guy? The little fan inside looks exactly the same. On the original one, you had the LED lights here on the side and also that was where you place your water. This is what I'm talking about. In the original one, the 2018 model, this is just a little button to turn it on and off right? In the infomercial now, this thing is digital so that you can increase the temperature. Where are those models at? Because I haven't seen those in the store. Per the instructions, these here are your mode indicator lights. This one here is your power button as well as the speed that you want it at. And the last button is to turn on and off your LED light. I believe the filter is down here. Ooh, what? <laughs> Look at this filter. 
Okay, now this filter looks completely different from the other one. This is for this machine, and this tiny itty bitty one is for this machine. This filter comes out from the front. This filter comes out from the little drawer. Also the front, but it's a little drawer now. On the filter, there is also instructions on cleaning it, and it does say you can put it in the dishwasher. Who the hell knew? You can also hand wash it with warm water and soap. If you see mold on the filter or notice a smell, stop and clean your filter before further use. Hell no, you see, I'm already scared. We recommend you replace your filter every three to six months. Uh-uh. <laughs> see, I would have to empty it and leave it just air drying every day to make sure no mold grew on here because I would be too paranoid just to leave the water sitting in there overnight. To put the filter back, you just place it right there, boom, filter in. So I'm gonna test this thing a couple of different ways. In the infomercial for the original, they used the blow dryer, which I also used in my original review. And the intense heat of this blow dryer reads at 96 degrees, but with Arctic air, it's a comfortable 72. It is also a nice warm day here in Texas, so I decided to put this in my car to see how quickly it would cool off the inside of my car. Here is a bowl of water that I'm gonna use to dip the filter in quickly, even though they say running water, I'm sure this is fine. Not a big deal. And look how creative I got with this. Does this not remind you of the fan section at Walmart? We're gonna see how good this thing blows. One, two, three, go. Ooh, soaking that up real good, look at that. I think that's good. We install it there, close it. A second ago, I did mention taking this to my car to see how quickly it will cool off the inside of my car, but the company does not recommend you drive around with a plugged portable air conditioning unit with water in it. It's not recommended. We're just gonna do it as a test controlled environment because I'm a motherfucking professional. Now our water. Oh, and it has a little line that says max. Okay. Right at two cups of water. Now remember, my biggest complaint about this one was that it leaked. And I got a lot of comments about, if you move it, it's obviously gonna leak. You can't tell me in an infomercial that this thing is portable and I can move it around from room to room and then tell me don't move it. Let's go ahead and put the water in this one. Now the original one, I never found a line where it tells me stop. <laughs> so you're just gonna have to guess. I always put two cups. One thing that I'm gonna say I liked about this one, not the LED light. I didn't like that it had only one side with the LED, but I did like that I could see my water level so that I knew if I needed more water or not. We're gonna start off with our wind test so that we can see which one of the two is blowing more air. <laughs> oh, I love my little things. Now let's turn this one on. Oh wait, my vent. <laughs> what do you think? They're about the same. Okay, something to note here. When you first turn them on, they will both turn on on the high mode. Two-speed fans whisper quiet. Another thing that I am gonna mention now because somebody's gonna say it in the comments, you need to put cold water, this was cold water. They do recommend putting ice if you want it to be really chilly, but I'm saying the normal person is just gonna put water in here. What do you think? This is the medium mode. Low. Look at this guy on low. Wait. Come on. Oh, wait a second. Okay guys, look. Low mode, low mode. This one's still going pretty good. This one, you can barely feel it. This one's winning. Now I wanna turn on 
the LED lights. Where is it? <laughs> Where? I don't see it. Oh, it is on the top. Okay, I'm going to have to turn off the lights, guys. The LED light is right here. Okay. It is not that bright. You can't even see it on camera. How am I going to get this for you? The LED light is really nice. They took away all the colors. It is now just that blue color. It has two settings on it that allows you to toggle how bright you want it. In the original infomercial was the blow dryer test where they put the blow dryer in the back and it blew out the front cold air. Even the intense heat of this blow dryer reads at 96 degrees, but with Arctic air, it's a comfortable 72. We're gonna give that a try. It failed on this guy. It's probably gonna fail on here. Ready? One, two, three, go. Hell no! This guy doesn't have an infomercial, but this guy did, and they used <laughs> oh my god, they should not have put this in the infomercial because this is a total fail. But putting the blow dryer on here, the air that is coming out the front is just as hot as the air coming out of the blow dryer. <laughs> no. So the blow dryer test was a fail once again. You should cut that shit right out of that infomercial because you look really silly because that test does not work. I've tried it on two of the units and it was a total horrible, embarrassing fail. Look at this, 88 degrees in here now because of that hot ass blow dryer. Let's go outside and try the hot car test. Don't do this at home. The company says, don't put this shit in your car. I'll be the dumb, <laughs> I'll be the dumb dumb and put it in my car. This is also gonna allow me to see if I move it how much of this water is gonna spill out. Okay guys, so we are in my car. Here is the temperature inside of my car, 91 degrees with 34% humidity. Holy shit. So I have the little unit here. <laughs> it's plugged in. Do not do this. It's on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm hot. See the LED light in there? It's been one minute. Look at here, it's been three minutes. The temperature in the car has dropped. The humidity has gone up to 43 now. We are at the 10 minute mark. The temperature has stayed at 88 degrees, 48% humidity. That kept climbing, but the temperature has not dropped any further. I think we're done because I'm gonna faint. This time I want to see how much the temperature will drop this far away from the actual unit in a larger room like this one. Okay. It has been 10 minutes. The temperature has dropped slightly, not as much as in the car. You get a really nice breeze coming out of this thing, but I would not call this an air conditioning unit. Let's talk about how loud it is. Two speed fans whisper quiet. It is not silent, it is loud. If you had it on your desk about this far away, you're gonna get a really nice breeze, but do not take any phone calls because they're gonna ask if you made it into the vortex. So I don't know if you wanna put this in your office. I still don't think that even with the Ultra, you're going to cool off an entire room. I do really like some of the improvements they made with the LED light. It does seem a little bit more powerful than the original model. I like that it is a little bit more compact. When I moved it from my studio into my car, 
a tiny little bit of water did leak out when I was getting out of the car, but besides that, it did not leak anywhere else. So they've made some pretty nice improvements to it. It's still not an air conditioning unit though. It's not gonna cool off an entire room. At least that's not what I have experienced. With the Ultra, they did not increase the price. It is $39.99. I still think that's a little bit overpriced. I don't think this thing should be more than like 24 bucks. The improvements that they have made have made it slightly better, just a little bit. <laughs> so for those reasons, I'm gonna give this guy two Vivian heads. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool as seen on television product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.